category 58 kilogram. And now we bring side three to the top. So we move on to the men's minus 58 kilogram. And uh, well, this one's uh, been carnage out there. All oh, a lot of top world ranked athletes have all gone. And in fact, uh, the only one, I'm just listing down them, the number two, 36, 26, and 12 are the athletes in the semi finals. And the top ranked athlete is about to be coming out in a second. Here are the officials just making their way around this uh, ring here. This octagon, which certainly I'm a massive fan of. It, it really does make the, the sport uh, a lot more flowing. And here we go, the world number two, Wei Chen Yang of Chinese Taipei. Lucas Guzman in his past three rounds, he's uh, beaten the world number six and the world number eight. He's, uh, and he also beat the world number 25 in the first round. So he certainly earns his way here. The world number 36 is Guzman. As for Wei Cheng Yang, well, he had a walkover in the first round. He beat the world number 30 and then the world number 34. So um, Guzman certainly has a um, much harder match for referee. It's Norbert Benko of Hungary. But uh, yeah, Guzman's beaten two top 10 ranked athletes. So here we go, Se first semi-final. The men's finals, 58 category. And, uh, well, a, a real opportunity here for Guzman. Uh, Guzman reached a semi-final in China, so he's, he's on a bit of a, a run of form. Took the bronze there. And there's been some, uh, some pretty good athletes that are in this quarter of the draw, this half of the draw, sorry, who've been knocked out in the earlier rounds. So really, he uh, has been pretty competitive for men's minus 58. I think we'll see Guzman um, being aggressive, going for the points, looking for the uh, scoring opportunities a bit more dynamic than some of the matches that we've seen. But the Taipei player has not been tested all day. He'll be coming to this quite fresh. Yeah. Um, and his pedigree and calibre, I think that you know he's still the favourite. He has a slight height advantage as well and a slight reach advantage. Yep. Well, Wei Chen Yang won in Manchester at the Grand Prix Finals 2013. It was a very big... Uh, event last year he didn't actually compete in China which uh, considering uh, he's from Chinese Taipei he's just uh, just down the road uh, wasn't a lot wasn't a big journey for him but uh, obviously uh, he either had an injury or it just didn't fit in with his plans and but here he is in Kazakhstan Guzman semi-finalist in China obviously a youngster is uh, one of the up-and-coming athletes in World Taekwondo. And, and amazing to see as well. One of the things I've got to say, Mark, is the number of countries competing. Yesterday, we had 12 places, as in fact, Guzman takes a point there with that uh, push on the body, which uh, didn't seem that heavy, but it was an, just, in a, just over the threshold to score. Oh, good attempt to punch there. And in fact, Guzman, some lights light up against his name. He nearly scored again. I think well we saw is a timing thing there because the three judges have to time with after two two of the three judges have to score within a second of each other. And I think watching the lights, I think that one was a little bit late coming in with that to yeah. score it. Yeah. Yeah, we can see the lights that the judges press. In fact I can see one of the judges is Ian Leaf, who's the organizer of the Manchester game. So there's a the, the people who are referees are also uh, um, organizers and officials and um, just to explain you know one of the things Mike just uh, while we get the opportunity in this first period yesterday out of the 12 positions we had 11 different countries represented and today out of the 12 positions we've got 10 countries represented it's just quite incredible how uh, international the sport is well it's I mean Taekwondo is an individual sport so it's about what that person that single person does in that weight category at that day you know and it's um, 
We are so good, you know, Taekwondo is a world sport. It's representing over 203 countries and member national associations of the World Taekwondo Federation. So, you know, it is truly Olympic, a universal sport that you can do it anywhere. And that's really what's brought, um, you know, make, makes it so popular. Yeah. You know, you need an open space, you know, maybe a few kicking paddles to start off with. Yeah. And, and a lot of Af uh, African athletes as well, which in some sports you don't actually see a lot of athletes because you do need to spend money on equipment. That's right. Here you don't. Here we go. This is Argentina against Chinese Taipei. You don't see that matchup very often in any sort of form of sport, but these two are both at the top of their game and in a major world semi final in this Grand Prix. And. Uh, Wonderful, so there's point. another point for Guzman. Chen, uh, sorry, Wei tried to uh, score. In fact, Wei scores a point back. He tried a spinning kick there, and got caught out, left his back exposed. Oh, tries to head kick, and Ch Wei's certainly opening up a little bit there. You just saw his reaction going two points down, and a little bit of extra adrenaline came into Wei's game. He's still in the match, and I think that we'll see the Chinese Taipei athlete coming through stronger towards the end. I think he's, he seems to be very strong. Yeah. And, you know, they have done this. Of All the Chinese and Chinese Taipei players tend to lead off that front leg, like most athletes, but then they've got very fast headshots that come up and get the three points, which make all the difference. Wei Cheng Yang, in his past two matches, he scored 27 points, won 19-7 and 8-5. So uh, he's definitely capable of scoring with uh, many, many moves. Guzman hasn't done too badly himself. 11-5 and 6-1. And Guzman just uh, takes a hit to the mouth there. Well, as he followed through with the punch, he's actually his own, he's, he more or less chinned the uh, shoulder of the Taipei athlete. They do wear uh, mouth guards. Coming into the last 30 seconds of his second period. And Chen certainly... Uh, you feel he's got. You feel he's got a lot more to come. <laughs> he's like a little cold spring there at the moment, and you think that uh, you know he knows that uh, he's going to launch into this into the third period. But Guzman comes in on the attack, tries a punch, doesn't pay off. This one can go. He's gone against Guzman so far. Chen won't be worried at all about this, will he? I don't think so. He won't be frustrated. Wei Chen Yang of Chinese Taipei tries the headshot at the end. The go. clock's run out. Oof. And Guzman, I tell you what, Guzman nearly got caught out clock watching then, didn't he? He did, yes. He was yeah. looking at the clock as the headshot came in. I think what we're going to see is I think the Chinese Taipei athletes going to start going up for those headshots. And we're going to have a last minute of this round, we're going to have a very fast yeah. exchange of kicks. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I think we can prepare ourselves for quite an energetic final uh, final period here. I think uh, Wei Chang Yang has uh, definitely got a lot left in the tank. I'm just looking at Guzman. He's uh, he looks okay. He's breathing quite heavily. He's getting, been just, his coach is really uh, working hard with him. It's just giving him a bit of a defensive move, and then is that you know he's, he's telling him to come in with a, a punch afterwards to defend away and try to punch? No, not as such. I think he's. It, the hand represents the body movement forward, so he's fainting, trying to lead, draw out the uh, Taipei athlete and then counter. Yeah. But I don't think that's going to be the case in this round. I really don't. Here we go. Change quite a bit looking at the performances earlier the, the other day. Major World Grand Prix semi final, Astana 2014. So Kyungo for a low kick. So one Kyungo apiece. Two of those, another one. Side and there's a point. Chen certainly stepping up the pace, scoring yeah. the point there with the kick. And Chen and you know Wei Cheng Yang here is just really aggressive. You know he's taken centre stage now, and it, you know he's the one that's dominating. Has he got the head kick? He wants the card. He scored. He uh, scored it. Just a little bit of a delay. Wow. The Argentinian players appealing, coaches appealing against the headshot, but it was, I think it was uh, he's going to lose it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was calling <laughs> that little secret hand movement, which of course it is permitted now under the rules. If you watch taekwondo in the past, it used to be a kyungo that the player couldn't 
And in the end, it was unenforceable because there was lots of sequence sort of scratching your left ear, and that, that sort of you know, meant play the card. But now that it's allowed and fair enough, and um, where he certainly thought he'd got that, hopefully we'll see it on a replay in a second. And Guzman, Guzman actually just looking at him, he looks a little bit spent now. I think he's put a lot of energy into these first few periods. He's had some very tough matches. His last one was with uh, Levent Tunkamp from Germany, who's a great player. Yeah. Absolutely. In fact, we said it, didn't we? He'd beaten yeah. the world number six and the world number eight to get here. Yeah. And those are, those are going to be tough matches. Uh, it looks like we're not seeing a replay. We, we, we can actually look at a screen here, which uh, we can see the officials are looking at. And uh, that looks to me... Oh, it's close. The coach is trying to... The Argentinian coach is trying to influence that. It does the head move back. Well, I'm hoping look at the right one because there's quite a few headshots that went in there. This is a replay. That's one that he's appealing for. I don't. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure. Let's have a look. Here he comes over the top. Ooh, I think he moves away in time. All right. Well, here we it's go. Rejected. Oh, it's rejected. So the head kick was given. He's got to take. And five two, and with a minute and 28 seconds to go, he's getting three points back now for Guzman is going to be tough. Guzman's putting in a big effort here. I think now Taipei's found that rule through. I think we'll see more headshots from him. Yeah. He's... Uh, there's a point there for Guzman. He gets one back. This could be well interesting. You know, one more one more point. He's got a Kyungo against... In fact, White gets another Kyungo. I'm not sure what that's for. Was that for holding the leg up too long? To be truthful, I don't know. <laughs> no. <laughs> another headshot there. The move clashes and moved in again. Guzman banging his face. Yeah. Yeah, slightly uncontrolled entry into there, but he's got himself back into this. He scored two points in the last 25 seconds. So well done, Guzman, here for getting right back into this. And he, it suddenly becomes a little bit tense again. Way hunting for the head kick, tries to punch. Guzman gets two good body shots in, neither score. In fact, Guzman pretty unlucky there. I think Taipei's unlucky not to score with that punch, actually, as well. Yeah. Stop the system. Yeah, we've got a. We've got a pause on the screen, which usually means that uh, the computer or system for connecting. In fact, it's one of the officials that's just walking over the table. He's lost, uh, he's lost his connection to the central table. They all have these buttons to press that we were talking about early on. And if one of them loses connection, it's just like my laptop at home, really. Can't connect to my Wi-Fi sometimes. And he can't connect uh, back to the table, and then the whole competition stops. Now, both athletes having a little rest here, and I think that'll... Help change us too. He's got the lead. Just help him recollect his thoughts. Guzman, 40 seconds to go. Pushing hard here to try and get that extra point in. Ooh, that's a strong kick, but just too low. Not scoring. Less than 30 seconds left now. Oh, big kick there from Chen. Both of them not holding back at all. Expect some fireworks coming up now, guys. Take the go. Yep, he's not going to get it. 15 seconds on the clock. Chen and Guzman fighting hard for a place in the final. Chen defending away. Guzman trying anything. Stop the system again. Oh, we've got another pause here. It's nothing to do with the athletes themselves. Yeah, we've got another computer glitch. And now it's a different official who gets up. You'd think they'd put batteries in these <laughs> before the start of the final. I don't know uh, what's actually happening. I, I need to actually... I, I will find out before tomorrow as to what, what actually happens on these that makes them stop working. But it has given both athletes a little bit of rest. You can expect the next eight seconds to be pretty hectic. Guzman, one point down. Here we go. Oh, Chen goes for the head kick. Doesn't get it. And there'll be an automatic Kyung So one more Kyung Go against Chen Yang Wei. Oh, they're both just going for everything. And Guzman fails to score the point. Oh, and Wei Cheng Yang will progress through to the final by five points to four. The Argentinian coach is not happy. He's lost his card, so he can't appeal, but the Taipei athlete definitely seemed to be blocking with the leg there, so which is a, a punishable offence for Congo. So that the Tiger score and go to Golden Point, but the, point, the score stands. And Taipei goes forward to the final.
Ladies and gentlemen, the bench one, number one, two, seven, second, fifty-eight.